Ross Fischer is one of the most consistent players on the European Tour, but having finished 20th, 19th and 20th again on the last three orders of merit, he was in need of a bit of extra guidance to help him kick on. I was really struggling to get the ball to the hole. I felt like I was playing well and just not capitalising on um, making putts. Ken just saw me and um, he felt like he could um, like bring something to my putting and he really opened my mind to putting, trying not to make it too technical, really kind of going back to putting like you were as a kid. His elbows tend to sort of drift away a little bit from his body. I mean, it was a natural thing to do, so... If, if your arms drift away, then it's a little easier for the, the putter to drift around. It's more likely to go not quite back straight and back, back straight through. But by just snuggling, I'm not talking about wedging it, just snuggling your elbows in a little, it, it does two things. First of all, it, you're more stable. You know, you, you're, you're now got the club in your hand, and because these are tight and you've got your body to hold the club a bit more stable, the whole thing's less likely to rock around. It's like a racing car driver. You wouldn't drive a racing car with your arms out like that because you've got no, you put your arms in here and that gives you that stability. It also slightly changes the plane of his putting stroke. Instead of the putter going back and forth like this, it's a little bit more rounded. It made, it made a huge difference. One or two other little things to make sure you keep your head still. And from that point in the season, he, he, he didn't putt consistently well every week, but he had some wonderful weeks where he, you know, he holds some good ones. So we're making a bit of progress. Down the slope, left to right. When he putts well, he plays well. Just catches the left edge. It's in, Ross, don't worry. Kind of taking the, the, the big forward press out of it, it's just literally a trigger to start my stroke, so there's a tiny press. Um, but he's just made it, you know, fun. Um, you know, as you saw earlier with the, with the little gadgets and, um, you know, practicing like pace putting, you know, hitting three putts from uh, the same spot, but one in at firm pace, one at medium, one at slow. So it just gives you a different way of um, approaching putts on the, uh, on the course. The practice green at any tournament is always busy, as players work hard to keep their putting in check with the help of various different training aids. Ken's homemade device is very simple and aims to ensure Ross's practice mirrors tournament play by keeping the putter and ball in exactly the same position as they would be during a round. In the off-season he's always tinkering and trying to make different gadgets and stuff, but that one's very good. It's just, um, just to make sure your putter is square to obviously the, the block of wood and then the um, kind of plastic glass was just a see-through thing to see where uh, you've got to match the ball up with the circular hole on it and then there's just a tiny dot that you just focus your eyes on um, and just hit the putts and obviously earlier on it seemed to be working quite well so uh, I'll have to see if I can pinch that one off him. And uh, heading out onto the course then away from the practice, what will you be thinking about <laughs> over the putt that is a little tricky? I think just like Ken said, just try and keep it simple. I think the biggest thing in putting is second guessing yourself. You know, generally what you see with your first look is generally the correct one. Once you start, you know, bringing the caddy in and um, thinking, is it the right line? Have I got my ball lined up correctly? All the negative thoughts enter your mind and that's not how I play golf. I'm very positive and upbeat. So I generally go with my first look and, um, you know, stick with that and just trust it and hit a good part. If it goes in, great. If it doesn't, as long as I've hit a good part, that's all you can do. The key with anybody watching any of these players they have a, a, a set-up routine that they do every single time. Most of them don't even know they're doing it because they've done it so often. So having a, you know, once you've chosen your line, which teaching someone to read a green really is, you've got to do it through experience rather than, I can't tell you how to read it, but you sort of give some guidelines. If you pick your line, you do the same thing every single time. So you slow. And a pressure putt, and you, uh, Tiger Woods was an expert at it, you, you don't rush it. It's the tendency, let's get it over with. This, you've got to step up the ball smoothly, take your normal little smooth putting strokes, and actually almost consciously do it marginally slower. There's a tendency, I'll get it over with, and I'll either hold it or I'll miss it. And if you rush, the stroke tends to be rushed, and it, it's more likely to miss it. A bit of right to left on this one. Oh, beautiful. 